Yesterday, Eurogamer revealed an interesting tidbit of information regarding the Shenmue 1 and 2 release. Uh, apparently it was originally planned on being a complete remaster. They were going to use uh, the game's original uh, sound, the original audio, and the controls and animations, but they were going to redo everything else, like the environments and the character models. So. Uh, I think that would have been actually pretty cool. I would have been really interested to see that as a final product, but I can totally understand why they decided to not do that. Uh, I, when you think about it, it's kind of like uh, kind of like Wizard of Oz. You know, it's, it's highly regarded as a classic movie. Uh, imagine having every single scene in that movie completely reshot with new actors and actresses. Uh, I'm sure it would look you know more modern and up to date, but it would still sound the same as it did back when it was recorded. And uh, that would be a little bit jarring. It probably wouldn't come together as well as you would imagine. Uh, the screenshots that they showed so far looked really, uh, really cool. I mean, it's, it's really cool being able to see these environments that you're so familiar with already, but in these highly detailed textures and, and the lighting, it looks so cool. But uh, I can totally understand why they kind of scrapped that idea because it might be, might have been too expensive uh, to, to kind of do that to a 20 year old game. Plus the original hardcore Shenmue community would probably revolt against it saying it's not what they grew up with. Uh, so I can totally understand why they decided to play it safe and just do more of a traditional re-release. Uh, and I support that decision. I just, I fully support that decision. Uh, although it would be cool <laughs> to be able to do like a Master Chief collection kind of style switch where you can switch between the old style and the new style graphics. But uh, yeah, playing with you know, playing Shenmue 1 and 2 fully with updated graphics and everything sounds cool, but, uh, you know, the animations probably wouldn't fit the new models correctly, and there'd be all kinds of other new bugs introduced, which would further delay the development and cost more to develop. So, yeah, honestly, I, I'm all for just preserving it the way it was. The way that they did it was practically flawless. I know that Shenmue 1 and 2, whenever it was released, had some bugs. Some minor bugs, nothing that completely broke the game, uh, at least not for me. Uh, I've played through 1 and 2 uh, practically issue-free on the Xbox One. There was a couple of minor things, but nothing nothing bad, honestly. I've, I've seen new releases have way more bugs in them uh, on launch, so, so they did a great job. Uh, D3T is the developer of the Shenmue 1 and 2 re-release, and they, uh, they did a great job on it, and uh, I commend them for that. Uh, but yeah, they were originally kind of... Uh, uh, planning on doing something bigger for Shenmue, and, which is really cool because that shows me that Sega really had it had in mind to give Shenmue fans the best. Uh, so hopefully they can kind of keep that mindset because Shenmue 3 is going to be here before you guys know it, and uh, I'm sure Sega's keeping a close eye on the sales performance and the critical performance of not only the remasters or the, the re-releases of Shenmue 1 and 2, but Shenmue 3. I'm sure if Shenmue 3 knocks it totally out of the park and and does way better uh, in sales than the original Shenmue games did, and I think they will. I honestly think they will. I think Shenmue 3 will will sell significantly better than Shenmue 1 and 2 originally did on their original platforms, the Dreamcast and the Xbox. Uh, just wait and see. This is what happens whenever you sell a game on multiple consoles and multiple platforms, more people have access to it, more people buy it. Uh, and, so, and plus you have two generations of gamers that are gonna be buying part three. So that's just a side thing. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick video and kind of give my thoughts on it. Uh, it's, it was really, really interesting to see what was possible and what was brought forward, but ultimately I'm, I'm happy to have ended up with what we did, which is just a preservation of the original classics. And moving forward, we can have all new experiences on brand new hardware and a brand new engine and everything's new. It's going to be so awesome. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.